AP Singh, former director of CBI, once again coming back to you, sir. Uh, yeah. With now seven days, sir, that uh, the CBI will file its first report in terms of where the investigations stand. Uh, we've already discussed on possibility of what we can expect, and even with what Yashawardhan Azad was saying, that, you know, in hindsight, if you look at it, the Kolkata police really didn't do that bad a job. Well, it's, I, I think that's too early to say whether they did a good job or not, because we don't know what the results of yes. the investigation are so far. But as I told you that, uh, you know, for CBI, it's very preliminary to, uh, you know, sort of say that we've done this investigation. They will just tell you the process. Tomorrow, I presume they will tell the Supreme Court what all, how they've formed the team, what progress they've made. They've, if, if the interrogation has yielded some results, they may mention that. Uh, but as uh, as we were discussing, the most important thing is the interrogation of the accused. Mm -hmm. Now, if he confesses, if he tells you what actually happened, and yeah, you're right, maybe Calcutta police also had that information because uh, you don't see the, the CBI uh, going to other places. That means the focus is basically around the main accused and the principal. Principal, I presume, is because he had he was trying to cover up this case so they're grilling him. But the main accused obviously has uh, told uh, the CBI something uh, important because you don't find them going around all over the place picking up people. So, I mean, I'm just guessing. This is just guesswork. But uh, I can assure you that CBI is fully competent to do this investigation. It just has to be given time. Uh, it should not be pressurized by, by either the media or by the courts. That you know, courts cannot uh, interfere in the investigation. They can just ask you what what mm -hmm. progress you made. They cannot tell you that do this, do that, or why haven't you done this? Its investigation is purely in the domain of the police. Right, but you so know, he's saying is, keeping in mind the kind of the case has taken a life of its own. We've seen fair amounts of political pressure, even political interference. Now, do do you not, think that could hamper and delay investigations? Not, not at all. Not at all. This is a this is a conventional crime. It's not a political, uh, there's nothing political in it. Uh, they may be from outside, it may look political, but it's a pure case of murder and rape. And that is the investigation that CBI will be focusing on. And I, I can assure you that they will come to proper uh, conclusion uh, to this case. There will be a proper conclusion. I, I don't think there's going to be any conclusion. There can be some further investigations uh, you know, because they are saying uh, they are saying all sorts of things that uh, all the going ons that were going on in the hospital, and uh, whether the principal was involved or not, but that is a secondary investigation. It's not. It may not be directly related to this uh, murder. Right. It may be related. So that is that is. Uh, if that happens, then the case can get more complicated. Yashwardhan Azad, do you think because you know sometimes when cases become as big and blown up as they are right now, and rightly so, I would reckon every case should take a life of its own, especially as heinous as this. Uh, but the kind of public eye, the kind of political pressure does impact investigations, or do you think no? See, in general, political uh, impact is there on investigation. That is true. But in this particular case, there is no political pressure whether to prove it is a gang rape or not a rape. And in fact, most probably, as I told you earlier, you know, from the post-mortem report, it can only be a surmise that with so many injuries, there could have been gangrene. But ultimately, as I said, it is the forensic evidence which is very critical, whether there's any blood samples, whether there's any hair sample, whether there's any DNA sampling and all. And I have a feeling uh, that, you know, if watching the CCTV, there were no other entries or exits. So looks like that uh, CBI may be you know, uh, veering round to the same view which the Calcutta police has come, that is on the main accuse itself. That, that is my surmise. So I don't think, number one, there is any political pressure. Number two, I do feel as far as the, you know, it's a very important thing is the security and safety of the doctors. It's not possible to ensure those security standards or safety standards, you know, within, uh, you know, a week or so. Therefore, they have to, but one thing is very important which needs to be pointed out to these doctors is that this was a rogue attack. This happens like a janitor did it in school, like others who did it in the school. So the all the responsibility depends on people like the principal or the security officers. Therefore, they can absolutely go back to work because this was not a general threat. 
this was a rogue attack. Right. And that's very important to be distinguished. You know, Mr. Razad, you do say that in your opinion that, uh, you know, it's the same line of investigation at the Kolkata police. But yes, let's, uh, Mr. Singh is right. Let's wait till we at least get what yep. the CBI has to say in all of this and uh, where they stand in terms of investigation. You know, AP Singh, once again, coming back to the CBI, taking over the case, which we've discussed earlier as well, the sheer fact that the CBI comes with a conviction track record, which is actually very good. You know, it's over 70 percent. But uh, with what I pointed out earlier, whenever the CBI has picked up high profile cases, there seems to be a failure to at least, uh, you know, reach a conclusive end. And there are a number of those. Sushant Singh Rajput's case is one of the many where the CBI has yet to file a, con you know, uh, a closure report and there was so much misinformation okay. that battled then. Okay. Can I mention that uh, in my time we did two very important murder cases. One was Sela Masood. She yes. was a, uh, you may remember that case. It was completely detected. It was in Madhya in Bhopal. It was detected, conviction has taken place. Similarly, there was a Bhavri Devi case yes. in, uh, in, in, the in 90, Rajasthan. 90, 93, yes, Rajasthan. No, not 93. That, that is another one. This was, okay. uh, she was a nurse who was having an affair with a minister and she got kidnapped ah, and murdered. Yes, yes. And uh, we, can, we we solved that case. Uh, it was in my time. And Involving conviction took Mader place. the politician, Mr. Maderna. Yeah, yes. exactly. So we we got, so it's not that we don't get uh, convictions in high profile cases. Even in Saila Masood was an absolutely blind case. If you, I don't know if you remember that case. Ultimate, uh, ultimately, it was some uh, lady. She was supposed to be an RTI activist, but it turned out to be some internal uh, love affair or something going on. And a blind case, we uh, the CBI detected it, and we got a conviction. So it's not that uh, high. It's only the case that you are mentioning is Arushi. Now, in that again, Arushi was a case as well, Mr. Singh. Yeah. Even in this case, uh, in, in Arushi case. Uh, the crime scene had to be completely tampered. So there was uh, there was no chance of getting any evidence uh, from the crime scene. And even in this case, I don't know, uh, you know, your forensic expert has just explained all the things that you can collect from the crime scene. And uh, similarly, uh, I had mentioned that uh, you know there's a lot of exchange that takes place in a crime scene. Uh, so uh, if all that is not available, then definitely mm -hmm. uh, it's it affects the investigation. You know, you, you, uh, uh, you know, Yashavardhan Azad is smiling. Do you concur, Mr. Azad, with what Mr. Singh is saying? You know, if you really want to test the CBI, then you should look at the corruption cases against the politicians. That is where the real test is. Now, in actual murder cases, uh, some of the cases like the Arushi, there was hardly any, uh, you know, political to it. You know, the, the scene of crime was spoiled and that that's okay. In Sushant Singh's case, it was highly political, but because it was a suicide and, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, there was a lot of confusion about it, there are too many things happened. So CBI should be tested where the corruption cases against politicians are, how they go slow, how they go fast and what is the output. So that is that is another area. Otherwise, CBI is outstanding. It has one of the best forensic wings and it has one of the best officers. In this particular case, Preeti, I don't think there is any involvement of politics. So they'll be able to crack the case exactly the way it is. Most probably it may go with the Kolkata way. All right, the way the Kolkata police uh, investigated is what you're saying. You know, uh, final comments, AP Singh, how long would you see uh, you know, at least the CBI coming out uh, with some conclusive proof because, you know, everyone's struggling in the dark right now. It's been seven days. The case has been transferred. You're looking for answers. Protests are still peaking. And yet one still is struggling with the fact whether this was rape, gang rape. Uh, you know, was there a racket behind? Lots of unanswered questions. Uh, so, Preeti, uh, the thing is that... Uh... You know, uh, you have to, it's not only the investigation. There's a lot of forensics involved in every case. Uh, same thing with the post-mortem. There'll be a team of experts. It will go to them. You have to wait for their report. You have to wait for DNA reports. You have to, re you have to wait for the reports of all the, all the forensics that, have, that will be done in this case. So I would say three months would be the earliest. If you put a lot of pressure, then maybe three months, but six months should be a good time to wrap up this case.
Okay. I would uh, expect six six months, but uh, you know what happens is it's not the investigation that is delayed so much. It is ultimately the trial of the court. You know, yes. time really is taken once the, once these cases go to court. So there is that is somewhere where the high court and the supreme court can intervene and and fast track the entire trial. Right. 